but you can't do it without getting past Stevie J. And here we go, our second wild card of the day. And Joke will start with the ball first. And let's see if he decides to go with a more passing-oriented attack that he started with yesterday and struggled with, or if he kind of keeps it relaxed a little bit, plays a possession-style game. When he came into this tournament, he was feeling super confident because he felt like he could pass every play. And that's not really been his game. He's generally been a ball control player, plays smart, pounds the rock, plays good defense. At the start of this year, he was just slinging the ball all over the yard. And that's a good sign when you're a Madden player. When you feel like you can pass every play, that means you can pick up blitzes. That means you can score points at will and put a lot of pressure on your opponent. It didn't work for him early yesterday, but let's see what he decides to do here against Stevie. First and 10, first play of the game. Bunch formation, little play action. And he finds Jimmy Graham, who's got some room. And he'll get out to the 38, so that'll put some confidence in your pocket. And when you can hit a short route like that, a drag, just coming across the middle and turn it upfield with the rack catch, that's all you need. You have to take those routes. Stevie likes to play a lot of different coverages, mix it up. If you remember a guy like Strafen from last season, just calling a bunch of different random coverages. We'll have to see if Joe can beat that. Stevie wants to make his opponent work for all of his yards, not give up a big play. That's where he went wrong yesterday. We'll talk about that. He played Skimbo, gave up two huge plays and a pick six. So he was instantly out of that game. He wants to make his opponent work for those drives with those coverages. That's where it's going to benefit him. If Joe has to score on a 20 play or a 12 play drive, that's a win for Stevie. Trying to fake snap there, ended up with a false start. So that'll make it first and 15. He'll go up under center. And Thomas Rawls has got some room. Boy, he's fought for some extra yards in this tournament. He'll get past the midfield to the 47-yard line. Thomas Rawls is a name you're going to see a lot today. He was heavily featured in day one and really has been huge for the Seahawks. So fresh set of downs and plus territory for Joke. These guys are focused in. We had a lot of chirping in that first game. See Stevie J making some different adjustments here. He's not on Anthony Barr. And there he's able to plug up the run. So rather than use Barr, who he was just on against that specific front, switches over to the other linebacker, tries to get in there and clog it up. Anthony Barr, number 55 in the middle, the best linebacker in John Madden football for guys who like to run around with that height, that speed, and make interceptions across the middle. He got one yesterday. Let's see if he can get another one today. And really, that's what he said the key, is those front seven block sheds stopping the run. And Tyler Lockett has found himself a little bit of space, and he works his way down to the 34. Nice find there by Joke. Two for two, two easy, simple passes. And Stevie, you're okay with that. You're letting them get down. You're gonna tighten up everything in the red zone. This is what we talked about. So first and 10. Ball to 34 now for Joke. See if he goes down to the ground game. Down to the 26 yard line, eight yard gain. So he's got the run and the pass going now. If you can get eight yards on first down, your life gets a whole lot easier. Yeah, open up the playbook. Scott Cole now is Zach Farley bringing you the second wild card match. And there's one of those block sheds. That's a touchdown. And nearly. Touchdown. Just throw it right, Russ. Just throw it right. Easy touchdown. Easy Bad touchdown. throw. <laughs> yeah, right? Easy touchdown. So he wanted that throw. You saw Harrison Smith kind of break on that football and get involved, at least kind of muddy up the waters a little bit. A, a combination of a bad throw from Russell, some good defense from Harrison Smith, and not a receiver that is, a, is an all-star going across. All three of those combinations lead to no touchdown for Joe, but notice he didn't get too fired up. He's got third and two. Live to fight another down here at the 26. 2-4-7. They go here in the first quarter. He'll go to the air. Wilson, he's going to have to throw it away. Great spy. Incredible defense from Stevie. He's got the left side contained, so Russell Wilson can't get out of the pocket. He drops a spy on the right side, which basically is like a big sign that says, run it over here, run it over here. But then the second he does that, Stevie J clicks down on the right stick. That sends the spy. And 
then Russell Wilson's got to get rid of the ball. Smart play from Joke, not to force it. You get three points on your opener. But like we said for Stevie, you make Joke run a lot of plays. You clamp down in the red zone. He only gets three. That's a win for the Jabaruski fam watching in Clearwater. Yeah, absolutely. Especially after a nice opening drive stalls out. And Joke settled for a field goal. And now Stevie J, the man from Central Florida, right there in Orlando, has an opportunity to take the lead here on his opening drive with 2.33 to go in the quarter. Great balance with this set, Scott. You see two receivers out to the right, two to the left. He can move to a lot of different formations. He's under center, which a lot of people don't see all the time. Online is not something you, you see too much of. Reminder, we're on the NFL Network tonight for the finals, 10 p.m. Eastern time. So gather your family around the old television for a little Madden football. Or the iPad. Maybe you got an app. That's, that's more my style. Like that. That's more my style. You know? Second and five. Great balance. So these players, when we go back to that, we'll show you the difference between this set and another very popular set that other people run as he sends three receivers over to the left. He likes that he can audible from that to this, this gun bunch, which is what Joke also utilizes. Hand it off to Murray. What and, what other differences do you see like between like an EMB bunch and a Skimbo bunch? It's okay to say nothing. <laughs> you, know, so you, got, you got Duke. Yeah. He runs this specific Tampa Bay version. They have a few different plays. Lots more, a little bit more play action. Skimbo obviously last year had the backbreaker route. That was the big difference, but that's no longer there. So there's less, you have to run more overall plays in the bunch now. Can't just go back to Z-Spot, although what an amazing play that was. Fourth and two you now. It, you lose the game right here. You will lose the game right here. Enticing his lose opponent right to go here. for it. You will lose the game right Fourth here. Fourth and two at the 32. Him. Remember, that that tells me on my play sheet here, that's for Madden guys, that's, that's a go for it. And he's biting his nails, that's a classic sign that he's nervous. Needs two yards. Teddy two gloves in the gun. Got Murray off to his left, digs all the way. Solo left, bunch to the right. He's gonna move Rudolph to the left side. A lot of adjustments here pre-snap on a big fourth and two. Bridgewater. And a nice find there to move the chains out to the 43. Good completion across the middle. Picks up 12 yards. I gotta get off the field. And Stevie, you had Latavius Murray in the open field earlier against Earl Thomas. Latavius Murray, he's a heavier back. And you go for the spin move, right? So that's not gonna be your best fake out chance. Maybe you go for the truck there, but that's just the way the meta is. You've seen all these players with these tremendous spin moves all week long. They go to it. Maybe we'll see if that's if that's the move. A player like McKinnon out of the backfield maybe give you a bit more agility in a spin move. Murray's gonna fight for those extra yards. Not here though. Gonna actually lose a yard second and eleven. KJ right on the tackle. Dub he said was a key defender for his scheme. KJ right. So Dubby's actually standing over there watching this game very intently because he will play the winner of this one. I'm sure he's already labbed up both opponents. He knows what they're going to do. But it's never bad to get a little bit more game filled in your mind. I've also notice when Joe gets nervous, he starts spitting bars. He starts spitting yeah. rhymes. Yeah. That's sort of his tell. Big time poker player. A nice pitch to the outside. No. Some people have a poker no. face. He's got a <laughs> poker voice. No. Little chatter here. Makes it a third and seven though. And now if you're Stevie. Label around. Learn about coking birds. He's more about coking words. It's Kanye, I believe. Young Kanye, early Kanye. That's early Kanye. Kanye. IMO. Yes, college dropout. We're hearing from the back. <laughs> of course the Early Kanye, he actually had his mouth wired shut through the wire. One of the fire jams off that. But hey, we got some Madden to play here. Third and seven. Don't try to take me off the rails, Farles. I know your game. 
Gibbs told me. Gibbs told me. He said, don't, don't let Foles take you off the rails. Missed the cast. He's going to have to call a timeout here the first play of the second quarter. I just don't know if he has a go-to play on third and seven. That's a big difference in Madden right two. now. Since the game increased zone coverage, players playing a lot better. This area, third and six, fourth and six, you can't necessarily rely on a drag. People can play harder flats. It makes it really difficult. And I, you see this shifting back and forth. What play am I going to call? I think it's worth it to spend the time out there to get in a play you want to be in, but I don't even know if he has a play he wants to be in. Yeah, most of the time, this, this is what makes Skimbo so good. He might throw a five-yard pass, but he's going to make a man miss. Stevie J needs here. Has time. Has a man. He threw it late, but it's still a first down. Great read across the middle. Once the pressure got picked up, he stood in tough. You see Treadwell on the sideline, gets the toe tap. Z-spot and go. That looked like you saw a little stutter out on the left-hand side. He had that open, but he got a little bit more by going there. Risky throw, but Teddy Bridgewater delivers one. If that's one where he overthrows it anymore, you don't get the feed, and you're very upset with Teddy Bridgewater. Great balance from both players here. But Stevie, got to get some rush yards. Trying to go to Murray. There's that juke move you talked about. That shit is box. I promise. Locking up the pitch. The chat wants more pitch. Stevie would like to get more pitch. But it's not there. Joke prepared for that. Knows how to lock it up. Not going to get beat by it this time. Doesn't yep. like to lose to a player the second time he plays. A little bit Bill Belichickian in that sense. When he plays a guy the second time, he says he almost always beats him. In our first game, Chaos wanted less pitch. Some wild stuff going on in that first one. Skimbo was victorious. 20 to 7 was the total on that one. He'll face Tweez. Winner of this one's going to face Dubby. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. Third and 10. Some of the younger crowd, they don't even know what that, that quote's from. No. It's amazing, though. Can't wait. One of the best post game interviews ever. He's right on the brink of field goal range, so he's got to be smart. Come on! Come on, man. That's six. That is six. Joke wanted the pick there, Come Cam on. Chancellor. That's the thing, you know, these competitive players want That's that six. to be a pick, but you're in traffic, and, and he's not a wide receiver. He doesn't have a high catch rate. That's six. Not a great read, we'll be honest. <laughs> a little quick seam. They want to see that. Stevie with a CB. Lose the game right here. This is what I want. Lose the game right here. Out of field goal range, Joke thinks if he gets a turnover, he wins this game, and it will be a turnover on downs. He is right on the on the cusp of the field range. If you're Stevie J, you check it. You got to take your time out, and now you got to dial up a play on fourth and ten. Not many plays. He's already gone to some of those plays he would already use, so Joke could be making adjustments to those. He knows he needs this one here, fourth and ten, just outside of field goal range. Only three nothing. So Kai Forbath. This is kicker, and that's why he's going to go for it. Throws it low, it. and so digs, it. digs it out. You're trying to lose. You're trying to lose this game so bad. You're trying so hard to lose this game. I promise. You're trying so hard to lose this game, Stevie J. Keep trying. Low pass. He's shouting out somebody in the crowd. Must have hooked him up with that route. Shooter. Low pass. L B down on the left stick can lead to some bad throws, but Bridgewater. Two for two on making some tough throws in this one. So the Vikings, he's getting the benefit of the defense where he doesn't have a great quarterback, but the quarterback not letting him down. So three minutes to go in the half. These guys are trying to make it to the finals Keep tonight. To game, Keep trying. Keep trying. So many places that you can watch the finals. Yeah. Talked about the NFL Network, but you got Mixer, you got Twitch, you got YouTube, Facebook. That's what my wife watches on. Yeah. Tuning in, so. So many ways to catch Quest Matt in action. I'm going to go, I would probably watch YouTube if I was on my television, or Mixer if I was on my console on my television. Or uh, literally on television and phone network. I believe I definitely have that package. A lot of folks thinking it could be Dubby versus Skimbo tonight. We got a few competitors here that are looking to change that narrative. Stevie, I was like, how you feel, man? He's, he says, I feel good, I feel good. 
you know, I, I, I screwed up against Skimbo. I wouldn't let that happen again. He's, he's very good. I'm prepared for W. I'm prepared for Skimbo. I'm like, dude, you played over. Choke your first game. Over. Over. He's like, I know. Over. Over. I'm like, are you not worried about Joke? He's like, no, no, I'm actually pretty worried about Joke, but I also would then be worried about W. <laughs> and then I would also be worried about Skimbo, who just won. If you're just tuning in, Skimbo already won. So he's thinking ahead. He has preparation and game plans for those guys. Because you're not going to have much time to do it in between. You know, you're going to be running around trying to eat, trying to get focus. Yeah, you're going to have some passing thoughts, but he lapped up for all three guys. He's prepared. Tweezy's probably the most different of the bunch. No pun intended. Yeah. Third and four here for Stevie J at the two-minute warning. Trailing by a field goal. Teddy two gloves in the gun. Not a lot of pressure. But does get a nice shed there on the outside. Yeah. When you escape the pocket, you're just susceptible that to that containment. Points. Yeah, it was a, uh, he had time in the pocket. He stayed there. He hung pretty tough. Let's watch him punch this one through. I, I just talk over field goals because field goals don't yeah. excite me. Rather, Joke had the user route coming across the middle. He could have waited and thrown it. It might have come up a little bit short, but when he, as soon as he broke it, he wanted to throw the way the ball, but the sack didn't hurt him because it didn't knock him out of field goal range. So you're okay taking the sack there. You're not going to fumble uh, throwing the ball away. So you're okay with taking the hit. Kicks and FIFA, I'm ecstatic uh, about. Uh, Brilliant. Kicks and Madden, yeah. Much easier. <laughs> yeah. Much easier to pull off. Uh, we did see a missed field goal yesterday, I believe, from Tweez. Yeah. He had already won. He was already in, and he missed it. He had hit a big kick earlier. That was exciting to get in. So there could be some big moments. I know Ghost Mad is probably watching right now. Like, no man, kicks are, kicks are tough. <laughs> nice scramble there by Joke. So he's got basically 95 seconds here. And that's a lot of the, the, these players are under great pressure. Whether you want to or not, you have the ultimate league. You have the biggest opportunity ever in competitive Madden. The top two slots are going. And you've got your two games away. They're so relaxed on the couch. They're both executing really well. They both had really long drives, playing good. It's really impressive to see. You have a veteran like Joe who it's taken a long time in a lot of tournament games to look this composed on the couch. Stevie J is new. He's just a confident kid, though. And he's now got the confidence. He feels like he's playing with house money because he's already made it out of groups, which they said he couldn't do. He's actually made it to a live event, which last year he was one spot out. Motivation every single day. His guys, T. Davis, telling him, you're 33rd, you're 33rd, you're 33rd. He used that as motivation every game in, in Vegas to get it done. Now he's here, and now he's got a tie game with a minute 15. And Jimmy Graham picks up the first down. You mean 1.15 million? That's, that's pressure. It's a large pool. It's a large pool. So first and 10, 60 seconds to go in the half for Joke. Well, inside zone to the 47. And you've got to get down into range. You still have to be thinking touchdown at this moment in time because you've got two timeouts with 50 seconds. That's an eternity in Madden. You're already over midfield. You don't want to just settle for three, especially with Stevie getting the ball after the half. Time for a hot one here on second and eight. Send that spy. Right on cue, and he's going to force a big third down here. The other thing you got to be careful of is not giving Stevie J any time before the half. Yeah, I mean, third and eight now. He's still got a timeout left. We saw him hit some big runs yesterday. Maybe he sneaks a pitch in before the half and gets down in there. So this is a crucial conversion. Once again, just spying it up, and boy, fits it in the window at the 33. Definitely frustrated for Stevie J. Kendricks, he said he, I think he had a cloud over there. That's a good throw by Joe Keat. That route comes a little bit more inside than a lot of people are used to seeing. Kendrick's not going to track a fast receiver. Great throw by Joe. Good user across the middle from Stevie. That's just high level, man. So now on the edge of field goal range. Be a 50-yarder from here, and he'll throw it away. He's second and 10. Both these guys with one timeout remaining in the half. 24 ticks to go. And if you joke, you've taken away the option of a possession from Stevie because the clock's way down. You're on the brink of field goal range. You can run the ball because you have one time. You can't run the ball. You got to pass the rock. He had to use that timeout. So now he pretty much does have to pass. Let's see if he targets the flat. Will Stevie give him the short flat? Because 
if he gets just a, he can make it, but it, it'd be a little bit easier if he just gets a little bit closer. There it is. Pitches it to the outside to Thomas Rawls. Down to the 29 clock moving. He's going to save it. See if he can cash that timeout in at the halftime buffet. Have to chuck one, man. Time's ticking. Boy, I think he's going to take a timeout here. Reminder to the folks watching, don't go make a ham sandwich. We are going to actually blast this game right through halftime. So we'll go from the second to the third quarter. I apologize for Come not on. giving you enough let's, time. Let's be gentlemen. Let's be gentlemen. Come on. Block let's it. be gentlemen. I won't try to block your field goals. You don't try to block mine. Let's be gentlemen. <laughs> no gentlemen. It's in the game, bro. Come on. Let's be gentlemen. It didn't work. Jesus. I can't block kicks. I'm bad at it. Yeah, maybe he <laughs> wants a halftime to regroup no themselves. Problem. Just like me when Can I'm grinding some through some solos, I'm holding A to skip at the half. <laughs> Sorry. Miss uh, Brandon and Charles, boom, they're the halftime guys. Boom, they get kind of mad when you button through. They're like, boom, oh, somebody's in a hurry. Boom, we're in a hurry for more Matt in action. We've got boom, a lot boom, of games boom, to get in today. We're really I excited when here at the Matt Classic. The back. And there's a spin move by McKinnon. <laughs> so Stevie J <laughs> getting a little the sticky team. there. Wow, that was oh, some God, awkward boy. stick work. Oh, he almost went out far too wide, oh, but then he cut it back in and just ran directly into the defender. Oh, Interesting, oh, but maybe that loosens up the, uh, that greases up the thumbs a little bit and he gets McKinnon, McKinnon in the game and starts pounding this rock like he's known for. I don't know if he thinks Joke can stop him. Joke says he's got the defense for it. You trust him? He just tried to get you to not block his kick. You trust this guy saying he's got run defense before you test out his run defense? Madden tip 101, trust no one. Low pass kind of tough. Out to the 48, that's the second time that Diggs has got down there and took it off the turf. Notice now he's just coming out in the gun wide trips halfback weak rather than coming out in that earlier. We saw a big route to Thielen earlier in Stevie J's games. Not today. Got to find Treadwell here. This is one of the guys he had to find. Diggs with a few receptions. Talking about Thielen with a nice reception. Murray's been the guy carrying the load, and this time he maybe gets one. He's trying to change up the run lanes. There's an 0-1 trap there. Just different blocking scheme. Maybe mess up jokes defense or his user hits the wrong hole or he gets a different seal or a different block or the run fit plays a different way. He's just trying to come up with anything. But he's already approaching field goal range still. And he's only down three. He's got the ball. He is in possession and control of this game. Joke needs a stop to really feel good about this. More pitch, you got it. But McKinnon goes nowhere. He's going to lose. You get a yard running pitch, I promise. And Joke says less pitch. Hey. Or maybe more pitch. Keep pitching it out there. Keep pitching it. Keep pitching it. That, yeah, he's kind of encouraging him not to do it. Wouldn't you encourage him to do it? Like, oh, man, I got lucky there. Don't try that again. I, I hate for you to try that again. Third and 13. See if he tries to find the seam again. Be got nice two receivers to get, stacked. You know, seven or eight yards here. Two down territory for sure. Absolutely going to go for it on fourth. Can't take a sack, though, and that's what he does. And now you got a decision to make. Yeah, that that's the only case where now... This becomes very, very difficult. You've used that low pass twice. I doubt Joke will fall for that a third time. It would be a shame on him if he did. And so you're Stevie, hey, it's fourth mode. and 18. You, you punt. You punt. And you punt That's it out of bounds. Seahawks, baby. Talk about the Seahawks defense. We wondered why he pretty much abandoned the Falcons' hey, offensive on, firepower. It's because he really wanted that defense. So poor punt lead. from Stevie. Only got it down to the 18. <clears throat> yeah, poor punt by Quigley out of Boston College. Fun fact, I was doing some reporting sideline for Clemson Radio. Quigley punted one out of bounds that hit me pretty much right in the head. In the face. Pretty much right in the head. In the face. Is that what happened? Yeah, it was, it was, it was ugly. Is that how, that's how? I don't think he intentionally tried to do that. Yeah. But it did hit me over there. Thank God you have a great voice. <laughs> Appreciate it. This guy called Zach Farley. Great playmaker. Nice user playmaker out to the 40. And this is, boy, you come down here, you put seven up. 
You make it a 10-point game, that really would put the pressure on that man on the right, Stevie J. Yeah, you put seven up here, you're feeling good. You're feeling strong. If you get three, we'll call that a sprite. Then it's 9-3, then you're, you're very scared. You're very scared because a touchdown will win it for Stevie, although he hasn't been able to move the ball much, but the playmaker from Joe is just great stuff. Nice job there in the middle. Getting off the block. Linval Joseph, great strength, great block shed. That was somebody that Stevie called out. Everson Griffin and Linval Joseph up on the front. He doesn't have to do too much in the run game. He doesn't have to overcommit, bring in too many extra resources because of what this Vikings front seven is able to do for him stopping the rock. Well, Joseph and Griffin, that's really is only two down linemen. That's only guys that have their hand in the dirt. And there is Graham close to the first down marker. And they will give him a first down at the 49. Anthony Barr got close to that one, a little too close for comfort. He tried to animate and get there. He's just a step behind. Stevie pulled in one like that yesterday. Dangerous for Joke, but he's got precision on his side. He might not be the Mike UID, but you better know where 55 is out there because True Boy didn't yesterday. Hold your block one time. He'll find Hold your you. block one time. I promise this crib shot. I promise this crib shot. Joke asking for some better blocking from that Seahawks offensive line, which I believe Russell Wilson probably asked for every Sunday as well. <laughs> Promises, Cripsa. Hey, you use the Vikings, <laughs> you reap the benefits. My guy Isaiah battles on that offensive line. Don't, don't disrespect, but you're right. You're 100% right. Which a lot of quarterbacks have wished for that over the years. Probably no more than Derek's older brother, David Carr, when he was with the Texans. Yeah. Sean Watson having a little bit better luck. With that. Saving himself with his legs a little bit. Getting Absolutely. himself out of some trouble. And if you're Stevie, now it's third and one. You haven't gotten too aggressive. We talked about the long drives. He doesn't mind giving up. Do you get a little crazy? You're playing with house money. You're making your adjustments pretty nicely. He's not quick snapping you. Do you run commit here and do something crazy? Right, hands it off to Thomas Rawls. Breaks the tackle from oh, Rhodes. He gets to the... 33-yard line, back down at field goal range is Joke. I think we're holding the fours up here, Scott. Joke's going to take a drink of water. This is a classic Madden guy move. <laughs> you call a play that you don't really want to be in right before the quarter, and then you just put your controller down, sit there, have a beverage, you let the clock tick down, you freak your opponent out, you pretend you're going to do stuff. Maybe you walk away, maybe you do a little neck crack, maybe you sing a little Despacito. We don't really know. He could do anything right now, but you know he's going to the quarter. He didn't. Put it on Chew Clock because you know why? Maybe he's trying to get Stevie J wrapped up in a mental pretzel. But Stevie J, he's about three quarters of the way to a psychology degree. He's not falling for that. Plus, so, the hair is psych, psych out proof. It is good hair. Great lettuce. 50 yarder from here, but it's first and 10. I'm thinking he's got seven on his mind. Back to Rawls. Just, and Just hold your block one time. Not happening. And you, in, <laughs> Griffin's a beast. Yeah, yeah. USC product, this kid, he's been in the league forever. See, I like you talking college Ohio. ball. It, it sounds good coming from you. I dabble. I dabble. Because <laughs> Gibbs, no. Gibbs has no idea that That's college football jam. exists. It's not his jam. Second and nine. Oh. First That's time. That's why we use the Seahawks, time. Beast Mode. Give it a time. He's reminding his lab partner, Beast Mode. Your Madden Challenge champion, yeah. Beast Mode Mac. That's the that's the Beast Mode Mac that he's referencing. That's why he uses the Seahawks. Matt Ryan ain't going to scramble out like there. Stevie has done a good job containing Russell Wilson so far. We've talked about the contained spy. The one time you don't do it, Russell takes advantage. Picks up the first down ball now to 23. Four minutes to go in this wild card matchup. Winner faces Dubby. Got Skimbo and Tweez coming up in the first semifinal. Every time. Every time. I don't know what's real, so keep it a thousand. Back out in the bunch here. Notice in the bottom in corner, it tells you what your opponent selected. So even if you were playing yeah, online, you, you would know by this. And you never want to pick your defensive play until your opponent picks his offensive formation. Stevie, a field goal, you're golden because you're going to get one shot. You'll have a mom spaghetti drive opportunity if you can hold them to a field goal, 9-3. Time, you can't let the, the clock stress you out if you're Stevie, because you... 
Come yeah, on, I mean, you, you still got three timeouts time. on both sides. You hold them to a field goal, just hold and you one got time. one drive to go to the semifinals. Right, and what you can't have happen if you're Stevie is the clock stresses you out to a point where you do something you're not comfortable with or something silly that lets Joke score a touchdown because then the clock is not your friend. The clock's still your friend at this moment if you can hold them to three. Third and eight, though, this is crucial. Next play here, he can take it to the two minute warning, but it's a third and eight. Yeah, first down would be devastating. Bunch to the right, moves the running back, and throws it to the left, and there is Procise. That's not gonna be enough. He's gonna have a decision to make here on fourth and three. The good thing is he can take it to the two minute warning and think about it. Oh, he's going Madden guy move all the way right here. He's sitting, I mean, what's a bigger Madden guy move? Just sitting on the couch playing with, you, with your guy. Same TV. Same couch, letting it tick down to the two. Coming out in a play that you're definitely not going to call. Maybe see if he can get a free five yards. If he calls it for the two-minute warning, he is a savage. And he's going to throw it here, Let's and go! it's going to touchdown to Richardson. He's a savage. What happened there? It's, he was all Man, alone. Man, once kicking three. Won't do it again. I think Javaruski thought he maybe was taking it to the two-minute warning, or maybe he wasn't going to snap it. I didn't think he would snap it. He gets the quick hike. Stevie had some trouble getting in setups against Skimbo yesterday. No adjustment there for the corner. Wide open touchdown. And now 13-3, two scores. A 13 play, 83 yard drive. Absolutely Won't masterful. Trey Wayne's down in a hard flat, gets the zone left behind him. I mean, on fourth and three, you gotta play there because you can't give that up. But we saw Dubby win with that route at Manable twice Won't against Skimbo to get again. back in the I game promise. corner. Against the heart. It's it's Classic. That's Harrison, an amazing play for Joe. Harrison Smith, who normally is a great free safety, was leading over. There's Dubby right there looking on. Watching. Nothing like some live Good tackle, live Chancellor. scouting Good tackle, report. Baby. Good tackle. So it's Good okay tackle, that he Chancellor. didn't get out of bounds. Because it's boys. a two minute warning, so not bad, but a good first play That's from Stevie. exactly why we use you, boys. You take three, Scott, as soon as you can get it, potentially, try and get the ball back, or score, score quick. 157, trailing by 10 is Stevie J. Notice the defender right up in the belly of the beast. Imagine me drawing a big yellow circle right over the center. Right, draw that yellow circle in your mind, folks. I can see it. First Let's and 10. Oh, come on! That was huge. Clock moving. You lose seven yards. Holds down the Y button, tries to go hurry up. Remember, Stevie J comes over from PS4, playing the classic on Xbox One. Looking downfield. It's set open. Oh! And that's picked off by Earl Thomas. Hey, that's why we use them! And the fat oh. lady is Avengers, baby. starting to sing here in this wild card. Oh, no, man. Earl Thomas all the way across the field gets credit for the user pick for a joke. Reminds you, that's why we use the Seahawks. And really, that is why you use the Seahawks. You have the best defender in head-to-head -head Madden in Earl Thomas. These are regular teams. Every Sunday you see it, Earl Thomas lets them play that very unique style of defense. Chancellor brings something else. Sherman brings something else. Michael Bennett brings something else. This defense is amazing. And Stevie just didn't have the offensive answer for Joke, who had his pitch potentially locked up, but he didn't really test him. And with the clock, Stevie had to play Joke in that game, and he had to play the clock. This was, we talk about classic Madden with the couch, Scott. This was classic Madden in a sense of 40 second play clock. If you ever went to a stadium back in the day, the games were only two minutes long. If you turned the ball over, you lost. This felt like that game because you only got two drives max. And really it was, can you before, score before the end of the half and then can you score on your first drive? A turnover killed you. That was basically what occurred in this game. And that's another reason it felt like last bad in the real yes, teams. Let's go. Only one or two, two drives more, per two game. Two more, two more. And Joke at the end of it got the points two at more. the end of the half. Not saying two more first downs, he's saying two more wins. Yeah. We'll you, want, you, you think Joke wants to go the alternate lane? <laughs> yeah. Two more. Two, two 25 more. grand in your pocket's not bad either to start the season. I think he's like two cars away from completing a collection. <laughs> Just needs like an Audi, maybe a, uh, what's the electric one there, Tesla? Well, he will bend the knee, not to CVJ, but to get the victory. <laughs> 
Well, Stevie J finished 33rd a year ago, was one away from being in that top 32 of last year's game. He came here and fought, especially after getting blown out by Skimbo in the first game to get to the wild card. Tip of the cap to him, but yeah. Joke just outperforming him here. He represented his community well, his crew well. He put the Mutt players on the map that started back in Madden 25, that area. You got to be proud of the kid for coming out here, representing, getting a victory, getting out of groups, doing what nobody thought he could do, avenging that 33rd place from last year, thinking about it every day, using it as motivation, and I guarantee you'll see him at an NFL Club Series event soon. Well, it's a 10-point win for Joke. He's going to face Dubby in the next round, and we got Tweez and Skimbo coming up here in a little bit. And But for CVJ, his run's over here, and also for Chaos, his run's over. So we've started with eight, started today with six, and now we're down to four. Think about how important that buy is, but it doesn't matter if you're Joke. You got what you came here for. You're going to the Final Four. You get to play Dubby, and I really think that game – could be incredibly explosive. Same couch, those two personalities coming together. I mean, yikes. Adrian's down there with the winner. Joke, you took the win 13-3, and you had lost to CVJ in the semis in the Vegas Challenger. What did you change about your game? Uh, as soon as I saw him play, I knew he was going to run out of pitch. I went back to the hotel with Beast Mode. Shout out to Beast Mode for helping me laugh the whole time I was here. And I wasn't going to go to sleep until I hit the pitch every single time in the backfield. And you were very enthusiastic, excited into this game, talking to your competitor. What was going through your mind? Um, last year, again, I was two, two games away. I lost in the Final Four. So I just wanted to get back there to try to you know, redeem myself, give myself just a chance to win the belt. And you're on your way to the semifinals. You're going to face Dubby. What do you expect in that matchup? Uh, it's going to be a hard-fought game. We're both going to play a lot of defense. We're both using the Seahawks for the defense. So I think whoever has more rushing yards at the end of the game is going to win that one. Well, congratulations again. Good luck. Rico, Dave. Thank you, Adrian. Appreciate it.